was recently in Virginia and I don't know if you've been to uh, Virginia ever but there's a lot of history of the war of northern aggression as uh, it was known and um, we stopped at uh, Chancellorsville Battlefield and there's a nice little museum in there for the kids with a lot of history uh, a lot of old guns it's always cool and cannons everybody loves cannons and I picked up a book about uh, the most uh, famous friendly fire incident in American history. This is actually his entire life of uh, Stonewall Jackson who was accidentally shot while reconnoitering uh, the enemy lines. When he came back it was late, troops didn't recognize him, shot in the arm, uh, led to infection and eventual death for Stonewall Jackson which was a big hit for the Confederate Army. Now I've always been a big fan of Theodore Ulrich Dodge, a uh, 19th century mili military historian of, um, well I read his books of Caesar and Alexander and Hannibal and he's really quite excellent in uh, not only giving you the biography but also the surrounding history and all the military knowledge that you need to know about that particular age of warfare. So I sort of had a bias toward uh, 19th century military authors and unfortunately what I did not pay enough attention to with this book was the DD appended on the back of uh, the author's name. It was uh, R.L. Dabney DD. That's Doctor of Divinity. And um, about, well, Jackson is now VMI, and we haven't really learned a whole lot about Jackson so far, other than his conversion to Christianity, and how he prayed, and how often he prayed, and what he prayed about. Apparently he was married, but that's only been mentioned in passing. And, oh no, he did get a letter that he wrote to his wife about praying. One wonders if there is a little bit too much of the author's personal biases involved. So a book I would not recommend on Stonewall Jackson is R.L. Dabney's Life and Campaigns of Lieutenant General T.J. Jackson. Don't bother picking it up. If you want to read a book about him, get something newer or Maybe there's another contemporary of his that wrote a better uh, work. Maybe not. I don't know. Just my two cents. Thomas Jefferson Johnson. Uh, no, it's... Uh, Thomas Jonathan Johnson. I got it wrong. Jackson. Oh, well, fuck.